How did I get married to be celibate? This is not making sense, God. We don't cast. Last, last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right, right. Then I need you to go ahead and light up the comment section with hashtag Doc Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cousin? What's up, me? You already know how we get down, baby. We be like, welcome back, back, hey, back. Back, hey, back, back, hey. So, we back, y'all. And this is a little different, very transparent, very vulnerable. Um, so yeah, it is a little woohoo. Um, those of you that's been following me, y'all know. Um, we talked about it. We slightly talked about it. Let me tell you which vlog. The last vlog where I mentioned about, you know, the title Prison Wife was um, three months ago. All right. So now I just kind of wanted to share with you guys. Um, the journey has not been easy. All right. Um, to the other prison wives <laughs> out there whose spouse is doing like mad years baby i commend you okay i commend you i commend you i commend you because um mentally emotionally um even physically okay it's like o m g and my husband is very supportive my husband is you know that was that's my partner you get what i'm saying so since he's been gone it's just been like stressful and I'm not going to lie. It's part of the reason as to why, you know, this constant battle with depression, because it's like you're tired, right? You're tired because not only are you having to hold down the fort, right? Not only are you having to hold down the fort, but you got to also make sure that you're mentally okay for that. I'm mentally okay for our children. Right. And then also I need to make sure that I'm mentally, you know, intact for him because y'all know at the end of the day, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Right. So it is a mental battle for them in there. Right. So it's just like, O M G, you guys. I had to I had to tell y'all cousin, huh, baby, no more. Uh-uh. Because this was not supposed to be part of our journey. But one thing I've come to learn because um the Holy Spirit had to check me because I'm like, let God deal with you. Right? Because God has been trying to you know, get your attention and you know, now you're in a place where it's nobody but you and God, you feel me? And I'm like, let God deal with you. Let God deal with you. Let God deal with you. And the Holy Spirit had to check me and lie. It was like, I'm dealing with you too. And I was like, OMG. So of course I had to repent. Um, going to go, let me, let me just give y'all the first time I, I pulled up Y'all, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much, okay? You can't have a certain amount of money on you. You can only have no more than 50. And what I learned is you can't even have a $50 bill because that's considered a contraband, right? So it has to be broken down in smaller, um, in, in smaller bills, right? Then on top of that, the dress code. Um, y'all know y'all cousin, okay? I can't have my shape, okay? So, hold on. Um, 
All right, sorry about that, y'all. Now, when it comes to the dress code, you can't wear nothing tight, nothing revealing. If you wear shorts, it cannot exceed above three inches from the knees. Um, you know, you got to stay away from splits. You can't show too much cleavage. Um, um, when you go in, you can't bring no purse. You can't bring no wallet. Like, literally, you got to put everything, like, in a Ziploc in a in a clear ziplock bag if you have your keys you just got to take the car key you just got to literally just bring the car key itself right and then of course you cannot bring your phone inside at all there is no lockers for you to put them in no none of that okay so at the first location I I turned around like three times because the first time I walked up, the lady told me don't bring the purse, just bring, and she told me what to bring. Turned around, I went to go put my purse in the car, came back, the other girl was like, no, the first time I turned around was to go make change for the $50 bill. That was the first time I turned around, you know, to whatever. And it already took 15 minutes to get out, you know, of that area because it's all land in water, Okay. So then came back. Second time I turned around, the lady told me about the purse. Third time I turned around, um, the girl was, she said my jeans because I had the ripped up jeans, but you could see no skin, right? Um, the jeans were ripped up, but it wasn't one of those ripped up to where your skin, where you could see your skin. Um, Y'all, I was just like, if they make me turn around one more time, I am going home, okay? I am going home. So then when you walk in, um, regardless if you have sandals on or not, you got to take off your shoes. It has to go through the machine. Then they have to wand you. That day, I wore a wired bra. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay. So um, they end up wanting me down or whatever the case may be. And um, so y'all... The lady said, okay, my pants, okay, I had got it like two size bigger, but it was still fitted, but it was loose, okay? Because remember I said, you can't, whatchamacallit. So y'all, I get inside, the girl looked me up and down, the, I, I do my thing, give them the pin number, all right, cool, no pressure, go inside. See my husband, we hug, we kiss. We can't be too touchy-feely, can't be excessive touching, can't be excessive kissing. So I was just like, okay, all right, peck, peck, okay, whatever. So, you know, we chilling. So we go to the concession stand, you know, get him something to eat. And he got what was called a big ass, big ass chicken sandwich. Like, that's for real the name of it. Look. Like, I was just like, you know what? I'm over it. So while we were standing by the microwave and the stuff was heating up, you know, we're talking, you know, or whatever the case may be. And the, the guard that was inside calls me over. So my husband was like, do you know her? And I was like, no. Um, so I go over to her and she goes, oh, the next time you come, just wear sweats. Because her boss just came to her and just said, my pants was too tight. What? If my pants was too tight, then why the other girl from the front let me come in if my pants was so-called too tight? Like, once again, I cannot hide my shape. Y'all, once again, the pant size was two sizes bigger than what I normally wear. So, I was just like, you know, I was over it. I told her, okay. So, uh, go tell, you know, go back to my husband. My husband, you know, we're over it. We start talking. I was there for a couple of hours. I end up leaving. So that was the first time I went to go see him. Then they so happened to move him. So now here I am in sweats and looking like, I don't even know what to say what I look like, y'all. I look like I, I came from the female prison the way I had to go because I'm like, I don't even know what to do at this point. Right? Um, so get there. It is the complete opposite. Little mama had on a dress with splits to the side, which was well over three inches. Um, this one lady had bangles all the way. Like, it was just completely different. All right. So that was just like, oh, my God. So now this, he's been transferred. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? Every place is different. 
So we just got to keep on rolling. We just got to keep on going. But as a waiting for him to finish his time, right? Waiting for him to finish his time. I will admit it is, it is very emotional. Um, it is very lonely. Um, especially, you know, we're restricted on the amount of time we could be on the phone, you know, cause we could only be on the phone at 30 minutes at a time and, you know, not having the physical support, not him, him not being here physically. It really do take a toll on me. Right. Because like everything now falls on me and then having to assist him putting money on his books and, you know, making sure all his stuff get taken care of. So it's like, even it's like, the load is just like so much so oftentimes i just really you know i was i just kept slipping into depression kept slipping into depression kept slipping into depression so i'm tired cousins i'm tired and when i say being a prison wife it ain't for the week <laughs> it ain't for the week and it requires a lot of patience um a whole lot of patience y'all i done tapped into some patience i didn't even knew i had okay and it just really also reveals new strengths and it reveals new weaknesses right um by the grace of god thank god i'm not one of those people that's too hot because you know there are some prison wives that's not able to maintain it especially depending on the amount of time that their spouse is having to serve you know they might go dibble and dabble and get and entertain other people i don't have time to entertain other people because one i honor god i honor my vows i honor my husband you feel what i'm saying um because you know people do ask me that a lot like um dang like what you do when you hide and you know you 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 bothered or you know you you on dj quick fingers no none of that y'all it it is a fight it is a fight okay because i'm like lord how did i get married to be celibate this is not making sense god release thy husband unto thee <laughs> release thy husband unto thee because baby i ain't get married to be celibate god but um so, you know, of course, um, it's just a matter of using that time to, um, get things done using, it's a matter of using your time wisely, right? Cause downtime is prep time. So not only does it gives me the advantage to go ahead and, you know, um, I can have more me times, right? Without, you know, besides my, my daughter, our daughter interrupting you get what I'm saying I can have more me times I can have those quiet times I can fast more I can um, which I do need to fast y'all because I've been tripping um, I can fast more you know certain things that I need to get done business wise it pushes me to be more focused and to be more driven so that I can do what I need to do so that by the, the by by the time he gets home these things are established and I won't have to sacrifice um, you know that time or whatever the case may be because now it's out the way and also allowing God to do what it is that he needs to do in me activate what he needs to activate kill what needs to be get circumcised what needs to be circumcised right because once again I can't be telling him that God is dealing with him and God is not dealing with me so that is the advantage you know of him not physically being here because of course when he's here um, I have to cater to my spouse right so y'all i'm definitely going to be doing a q and a um prison wife edition so uh y'all have any questions y'all can drop it in the comments below if um you follow me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram get it together okay and y'all can drop y'all questions there and i would love to do a q and a um because one thing i i I did say that my channel is about is me being transparent um, so that you can be encouraged because I want you guys to go through the process with me. I don't just want y'all to see me and then y'all just see the glow up and y'all don't know anything in between. But I love y'all. Go ahead. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and thumbs up. All right. 
um, look, I look forward to engaging with y'all in the comments because you know we lit, baby. But I love y'all. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember, you have victory on every side. Hey, I